actually news has kind of just developed just today actually or a couple of uh hours ago the uk have now finally after a long and weird weekend actually um there's lots of mixed messages with some of the people in government about where whether people should be wearing face masks inside shops whether it should be mandatory whether it should be yeah whether it should be enforced or anything whether it should be something that it should be left up to the great, great british public's common sense as michael gove um said on sunday but now finally we have the report here um this is from the BBC. It says coronavirus face coverings will in England shops to be compulsory from the 24th of July, which is great. Um, that means going forward, if you want to go into any sort of shop, any sort of enclosed area, you're going to have to have a face mask, which I don't really think is that big of a deal. Um, of course, there is a small population of people out there who are vehemently against wearing it under all costs, which I understand. I think you should be allowed to wear it or not if you don't want to. Fair enough. But it's just their insistence on kind of forcing everybody else not to wear it or getting angry when, other, when businesses don't allow them in. It's just a bit disturbing, right? Um, it kind of makes you wonder what those same people, what their opinions were. Do you remember back in the day, the few years ago, where there was a whole controversy about that bakery in the United States that wouldn't make a wedding cake for a gay couple? And a lot of conservative folks were like, oh, it's their right, right? It's their, their business. They can do as they please. And then I think the state stepped in and essentially took away. I don't know if the state, I'm not sure what happened, but it was a big conversation online and behind, oh, do you agree with the, with the bakery being able to sort of like mandate who they can serve to? Or do you think it doesn't matter what the sexual orientation is of a couple that's getting a cake? If they pay you, make the bloody cake. I wonder what these same people think about the face coverings. Because if a business rejects you from going in a store because they have effectively, you know, don't get me wrong, Morrison's, as does Tesco's, they're not looking after the safety of us customers, right? If anything, they don't want us to die so that their shops don't have to close, they don't make money. They're looking after their own bottom dollar, and we know that. But if they, if they, uh, if they don't permit you to go in without a face mask, are they really impeding on your rights or are they making sure they look after their customers? who are, you know, by by virtue of wearing a mask, who are kind of, your black, who are kind of agreeing, they're sort of signing a, a non-verbal contract that they're willing to sort of come into your shop with the mask. And you're sort of honouring it on your side as a shop owner by saying, okay, cool, I'm going to make sure everyone else follows the rules as well. Because I'm sure what's going to happen is that most likely than not, these shops won't necessarily be turning anyone away. I think not. I think most of them will be making sure which is why they probably announced it on the 24th of july they need to give the shops a heads up so that they can order in stocks of like you know cheap surgical masks you know the kind of ones everyone wears the blue ones you sort of throw away after a couple of uses they'll probably be handing those out for free at the entrance if you don't have a mask making sure you properly sanitize your hands and whatever it may be um at the front of the store but i don't necessarily think they're going to turn anyone anyway but of course the people that are vehemently against it are going to be like under no way are they going to be able because if anything it goes against that kind of logic of not wearing a mask and you won't if you don't want to wear it you're not suddenly going to wear it when someone tells you to wear it to go into a shop to buy a couple of eggs you're not going to do that so let's see how that happens and let's see how that rolls out but i'm glad at least because i think this is a the best way so far we have to get the virus under the control it's the best way to get things back to normal really you know we should be jealous man like we've seen videos of taiwan you see, see a video in taiwan before i actually quickly read this and see if i can get it I think it's in Taiwan and they've effectively, you know, smashed the virus and they're now in a place where they can play baseball in crowded stadiums with actual audience in the crowd or an audience, yeah, a live audience watching them, right? People actually in the stadium shouting and screaming. I think they all wear masks as well, but Jesus, man. Let's see if I can get it. Taiwan baseball. Let's see if I've got it here. Hopefully it comes up. If Chester United, that's, that's funny. Let's see, let's see if I can come up. Hold on. Da, 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 da. No, it's not there. But it was a video I saw. I think I saw on social the other day that they were playing. Um, just recently. Doesn't matter. Let's just get that off there. But let's go back to the article at choice. So this is from the BBC. It says the following: It says um, coverings will be commentary. So those who fail to comply with the new rules 
will face a fine of up to 100 pounds the government is to announce the move will bring england into line with scotland and other major european nations like spain italy and germany since mid-may the public have been advised to weigh face coverings in enclosed public spaces where they encounter people who do not usually meet who do they not usually meet sorry it was also been compulsory on public transport since the 15th of june Health Secretary Matt Hancock is expected to set out the new guidance on face coverings on Tuesday. They're designed to minimise the spread of coronavirus and also encourage people to return to the shop safely. The announcement follows confusion about the government's intention in recent days, with senior ministers suggesting on Sunday that people should use their common sense rather than being compelled to cover up. Which is, I generally want to understand, because again, I think you should always try to remain intellectually curious when everything concerning COVID and coronavirus. I think we're in such you remember you know i forgot what that stephen big there's a stephen pinker book that he read he wrote recently where he was talking about all the positives in the world i think this was sort of like a counterbalance as to everyone going on about everything being negative out there right you're saying no this we're actually living in, in some of the best of times right and we you know there's a lot of problems in the world but prior to covid we were on this upward trajectory it felt like right everything was just booming we we're all over the place so i think it's only fair to have some sort of level of sympathy with people who are really freaking out and aren't able to process what's going on or figure out what to do right um whether it's politicians whether it's people in general you know countries nations um you know sporting organization businesses if some people do a misstep don't be too harsh on them because i think this is really unprecedented times most people who are you know out there speaking the loudest haven't necessarily gone through any sort of hardship for the most part right maybe our parents have maybe our grandparents have but most of the people within the ages between let's say 18 and 55 haven't necessarily re re gone through any real struggle this is the one moment where we're sort of having to face an uncertain future so it's you know you, you can be excused for some things but i don't understand this whole approach in the uk where most of our politicians are really pushing this hands-off approach especially when you consider how high our numbers are especially in deaths considering compared to all the other european nations um and we're out of Europe, but just in general's comparison, and then you know, and even if you believed, you know, this line that they were saying about, oh, we're just reporting it too honestly. That's why we're, our numbers are really high, just in terms of optics and just wanting to be proud and you know wanting to set an example for everybody else. Wouldn't you want to get that number down anyway, right? Or would you want to make sure you you somehow stabilize it? Let's say you're right. Let's say we are just you know we are the bastions of honesty. We're just reporting everything clearly and really you know we're putting all the info out there we're being transparent as we can that's why our numbers are high don't just get it right why would you have one of your ministers coming on tv talking about how people should have used common sense in making sure that they you know get this virus under control and wearing the mask because so far all we know that's the only option we know how to fix things right distance what um you know some basic hygiene and face coverings that's the only thing that we know that's going to work to stop this you know invisible virus we don't know anything else we're so you know we're so green still in our understanding of how this thing affects people just the other day i read a paper about how it affects people um in different ways once they've recovered right some people have like you know spinal issues right they suffer they suffer flipping cognitively after the fact so we're still learning things every day so why wouldn't you just uh ear on the side of you know caution and be like hey if you go out and you're around people you don't know you have to wear a face mask you know that that's it if you go in the shop it's a rule that's it it's not hard really it's not difficult and we don't need to do it for that long either we just do it for maybe a couple of months or maybe a month and a half whatever it may be so that when we do start to open up people are in good habits and also we have a much better idea of where and how we can open up because at the moment we're just sort of like throwing a, a dart at the pin board as much as i want to go to the gym at the end of the month i'm, I'm a bit skeptical too i'm thinking hold on they just just announced that we're going to be wearing face masks we have to wear face masks in shops compulsory on the 24th the gym's open on the 25th so they're going to give so all that time people like it's just doesn't it's just odd and it makes you think why didn't it just you know put it into place for tomorrow or next week i'm assuming it's to, it's to give all the shops time to order things i'm assuming maybe i don't know it's just a it's just odd the whole thing is really odd to really understand but again i try to keep an open mind try to see it from the other side maybe it's a they don't want to panic the nation they don't want people going out there you know fighting and killing each other over face coverings i don't know but we're at the stage now i don't think a lot of people are that worried i think you know if you've got a piece of fabric in your house you can make your own face covering in you know a couple of minutes everyone there's videos everywhere of how to make them 
you can get most i think most off licenses in my area you know most of those guys are super incredibly entrepreneurial and they've you know capitalized on that they've ordered in a few from china that they're selling you know at a markup don't get me wrong but you can get a hold of one if you want it's just a very weird situation to be in just see it from the outside in like why are these guys really enthusiastically bad at their job politicians i say like why is it and they don't seem to ever get caught up on it it doesn't ever seem to be an issue it's just like you know you do your term and then that's it and you just hang around why are you hanging around you're consistently bad at your job like why doesn't there co there's no consequences as it seems like and you just seem to just like carry on as per unless of course you commit some sort of heinous crime and then it made me think about this lady again it's not you know it's obviously not fair to tease people but it made me remember this um this uh lady what's her name i think i got here on the screen there she is maggie de Bloc. she's the health minister of belgium right and again she's getting a lot of stick because i think the belgian numbers aren't that great either and i think they've been rated as the poorest um performing in terms of dealing with corona when it comes to testing uh when it comes to excess deaths and also when it comes to uh supplying you know in places with adequate ppe so they've been getting a lot of stick and obviously she's the health minister and you're just looking at it just from an optics point of view again doesn't really necessarily matter she might be an absolute saint but just from a plain optics point of view this person being your health minister is just insane and she got voted into that seat or you know it was somehow con it was somehow constructed that she would get voted in whatever it may be and she's you know to put it bluntly she's morbidly obese she's at risk more than anybody else would be for, to a uh, respiratory disease or respiratory virus sorry and here she is leading the charge it's just you know it's just it's just insane and then on the other side of it you got this guy huh? st john's county commissioner in fight to uh, fight for of his life to, against coronavirus and this is one of the dudes that was against um the mandated locked i think the mandate wearing a mask in florida of course it's florida thing so you know things happen in florida that you can't really explain right i think even people in america would say florida isn't really in america it's sort of like its own little sovereign place right it's just completely nuts over there but a guy that was very critical about you know mandatory face mask wearing in florida is now in critical condition and look at the picture if you're not watching this he is morbidly obese and if I read about the article here, it's really, 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 it's funny. It's only funny because it's sad, you know? It's just so, it's so avoidable, all of this. It's a St. John's com County Commissioner who voted against the mask mandate is recovering from COVID-19, his daughter said on Friday. Paul Wardron, one of three no votes on the countywide mask um, order last week, is hospitalized, said Ashley Warden Zapata. Though the commissioner is still sedated and in critical condition, the hospital is working hard to keep him comfortable and continuously monitoring him. Quote here says the following, his blood gas levels have improved today and numbers are holding. The part of notes, although we're not out of the woods, today has been a good day. The article continues, it says, this may be the beginning of recovery from Walton, who went into a septic shock and was in the most c critical of conditions the day before. Though Warden is on 2020 ballot, he is unopposed. Warden is not the only national for the patient to contact for, um, COVID in the recent days. Angela Nixon, a Jacksonville Democrat uh, running for the House State, also contacted the virus, blah, blah, blah. But it's just, come on. Like, what, and, and this, and then, and then, then you've got the issue with all of these um, COVID-19 deniers, right? you kind of just feed and, it, and but the weird thing is again maybe this is the odd uh, odd kind of um the odd part of the story you'd think that stories like these right like this you know this governor was against COVID, was against the state mandated lock state mandated um things to wear a mask in florida he gets it he's in really critical condition so like he didn't get the flu version of covid he's got it for real he's in hospital he's in some sort of you know he's he's been sedated so it's obviously bad but he's recovering that's good touch wood he gets better but it doesn't seem to you know change the mind of people that don't want to wear a mask <laughs> sorry it doesn't change their mind if anything it just they just kind of it goes over their head and just continue shouting that's a bit that's really interesting fair enough if you don't believe it and then you see stories of people just getting better and you know things go on you could be like hey i told you guys you know pointing to the person see i told you it's no big deal why do you guys make a big deal out of it but to see 
people that were on your side get it and be in really bad shape and to see the people that weren't on your side get it and be in bad shape and see people that are dying from it and still not want to change your course that is really strange really really odd but you know i guess everyone has their thing in it i guess everyone has their thing <laughs>